This video is sponsored by Morning Brew. Around two years ago, I got my very first iPad ever, my iPad mini. I've made videos going over my setup, how I use it for work, and just ways I use it in my everyday life. And now that I feel like I've done almost everything I can do with it, and have brought it with me several places, I feel like I'm pretty justified in making my definitive two-year review. Keep in mind, this review is from my perspective, and just some of the ways I've noticed it's been the most useful for me. This is my iPad mini two years later as a minimalist. But first, if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Here we talk about minimalism, frugal living, tech, and things of that nature. So if that sounds good to you, and you end up liking the video, be sure to like, and please Ray Mysterio 619 the subscribe button. Let's get started. General use cases. I think the final decision whether one should or shouldn't get an iPad just comes down to how they'll use it. My use cases for my iPad mini stretch far and wide, but I knew this would be the case way before I actually got it. My use cases for my iPad range from things like writing, having it docked on my desk at work, and even paying bills and managing finances. There are several more, but these are just the most common ones for me. Being able to have it with me on my desk when I go into work and just have music playing or listening to a video has made sitting at that desk for several hours much more bearable. And when it comes to things like finances, there's just several apps out there that help me budget and pay bills that maybe I'll go over in a future video. But essentially, I prefer to pay my bills directly from my iPad and use the Notes app to track budgeting and saving. I have at least a dozen more use cases, like using it to sketch and animate for my videos, but I'll go over that in a minute. All in all, the amount of use cases for my iPad mini has far exceeded my expectations, and I would definitely say this should be the driving force behind one's decision whether they should get one or not. And speaking of use cases, one of my favorite ways to use my iPad is to read and catch up on what's going on in the world. And my favorite way to do that is with the sponsor of today's video, Morning Brew. Morning Brew is a completely free daily email newsletter that, unlike traditional news, it's actually entertaining and covers things that I have genuine interest in, like tech and sustainability. The writers make each article fun and witty, and it's an easy, quick, few-minute read that really fits into anywhere in my day. Since it gets sent to me every morning, I find a few minutes at work to get the reading done. I actually read recently that Mr. Beast is getting his own prime video game show. So if anyone knows where to sign up, please tell me. I've been trying to get in one of his challenges for years. Over 4 million professionals already read Morning Brew daily. It's once again 100% completely free and takes literally about 10 seconds to sign up. So make sure you use the link in the description box when you do sign up. Thanks again to my good friends at Morning Brew. Portability and size. Now, it most definitely didn't take me all of these two years to start to notice the benefits of the size of the iPad mini. But over this time, I was really able to see where I'd be able to comfortably bring this thing whenever I go somewhere. I chose an iPad mini in the first place because I wanted something that was easily portable and could be easily stored. And over this time of having it and using it nearly daily, I'm still so satisfied how it fits to even the smallest of bags. Its portability makes the question of whether it's even worth bringing somewhere much easier to answer. And this is really important to me because as someone who always wants to travel as absolutely light as possible, that used to sometimes mean sacrificing things that would keep me entertained. So when it's time for a flight or an overnight stay somewhere, this makes the size of the iPad mini very important. Like I said, I initially chose this thing because of its size and to this day, I'm very glad that I did. Reduced the need for physical items. When it comes to minimalism and decluttering physical items, this has definitely made it much easier to do that. Not completely, but I've mostly been able to declutter and minimize the total amount of physical books that I permanently bring into my life. It's awfully similar to the size of a book in of itself, while simultaneously being able to be literally thousands of books at once. As much as I love physically writing and sketching, it's also proved to be an awesome substitute for pencil and paper. Now this might be a little bit more limited to people who like to use physical planners, but this makes for a pretty awesome planner in itself. A couple years ago, I made a video on how I used this small physical planner I would keep in my backpack. And while I still love the idea of that, using my iPad mini to just replace that small planner has been much simpler. I haven't had to buy one every year. And of course, it comes with more features and sophisticated ways of planning. And just another thing to add to the list, if you want to play games and you don't want a gaming console, this makes the perfect substitute for the casual gamer. 
I've had so much fun playing awesome things like Stardew Valley, COD Mobile, and Genshin Impact. If you're someone who wants to casually play games but not commit to a handheld console, this could really scratch that itch. All of these things I just explained, probably a couple dozen more, are all reasons why this small device has replaced so many physical items for me. Accessories. Over the years, I've tried just about every accessory I could with my iPad. But the one I've been using since nearly day one is the Apple Pencil. One of my most used and arguably productive things I do with my iPad is sketch and animate. Every wallpaper that's been created and saved to my website for download was created on Procreate with the Apple Pencil. I can't even really take all the credit for these drawings because Procreate makes it so easy. I've also used it for things like signing documents, animating, and writing down notes for things like bills. All of this just with the Apple Pencil. The other two accessories that stay attached to my iPad is the magnetic folio, which protects it and also works as a stand, and the Tokyo folio from Bellroy that works as sort of a binder and allows me to keep some of the really important essentials attached to it. When it comes to accessories, there's really a high number of combinations that could work for anyone's needs. Overall experience. Of course, by now, you probably know my opinion and where I stand with the iPad mini as a whole. For me personally, I found ways to make this device incredibly useful and simplify some of my routines. Having said that, I can definitely see this being one of the most useless things someone purchases if they don't have a clear identifiable use case for it. Basically, just consider if you're actually gonna use this before getting it just like anything else. To sum everything up, I can easily say this has been my most used device for the past couple of years because of its versatility and everything else I mentioned today, and has far exceeded all of my expectations. Even when the next model inevitably comes out, I'm gonna hold on to this one as long as I can and hopefully get a few more years out of it. Anyways, I hope you got some value from this video, and as always, I appreciate the time you spent here and I appreciate you watching. If you did like this video and you like this type of content, be sure to like and consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you next time.